Today, we're diving into something super important, the health of your legs and feet. Do you ever feel like your legs and feet are always cold? Or do you have numbness or tingling in your extremities? If so, you may have poor circulation. Good circulation is essential for overall health. It helps to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, remove waste products, and prevent blood clots. There are many things you can do to improve your circulation, including exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding smoking. In this video, I'm going to talk about the 7 vitamins that can help boost legs and foot circulation. These vitamins are essential for keeping your blood vessels healthy and promoting blood flow. So, let's dive in and discover the vitamins that will keep your legs and feet moving, grooving, and thriving. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable health tips. Now, let's jump right in. Vitamin C Let's start our journey with the first superhero on our list, vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. This vitamin is not just your go-to remedy for the common cold, it's a powerhouse when it comes to maintaining healthy blood vessels. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in supporting collagen production in blood vessels. Collagen is like the glue that holds your blood vessels together, keeping them strong and flexible. Without sufficient vitamin C, your body struggles to make collagen, which can lead to weakened blood vessel walls and reduced circulation. So, where can you find this fantastic vitamin? Look no further than your kitchen. Foods rich in vitamin C include citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and lemons, as well as berries, kiwi, and bell peppers. You can also find it in leafy greens like spinach and kale. But how much vitamin C do you need daily? Well, the recommended daily intake for adults is around 75 to 90 milligrams. However, if you're a smoker or exposed to secondhand smoke, you might need a bit more to counteract the oxidative stress caused by smoking. In that case, aim for at least 100 to 200 milligrams a day to keep those blood vessels in tip-top shape. Next, vitamin D. Moving on to our second vitamin superhero, we have vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin. Why? Because your body can produce it when your skin is exposed to sunlight. Now, you might be wondering, what does vitamin D have to do with leg and foot circulation? Well, it's the backbone, quite literally, of maintaining strong bones and muscles. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium efficiently, making it vital for bone health. Strong bones provide a stable framework for your muscles to work their magic. And when your muscles are robust and healthy, they support better circulation by efficiently pumping blood through your veins. Now, when it comes to natural sources of vitamin D, the sun is your best friend. Aim for about 10 to 30 minutes of sunlight exposure on your arms and face a few times a week. But if you live in a place with limited sunshine or prefer to stay shaded, don't worry, you can also find vitamin D in foods like fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, and tuna, egg yolks, and fortified dairy products. For a daily intake recommendation, most adults should aim for around 600 to 800 international units IU, of vitamin D. However, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional to determine your specific needs, especially if you have limited sun exposure or dietary restrictions. Next, vitamin E. Now, let's shine a spotlight on vitamin E, an antioxidant powerhouse that plays a pivotal role in supporting blood flow. This vitamin is like the guardian of your blood vessels, ensuring they stay clear and functional. Vitamin E acts as an antioxidant, which means it helps protect your blood vessels from oxidative damage. By reducing the harmful effects of free radicals, vitamin E maintains the integrity of your blood vessel walls, allowing blood to flow smoothly. This is essential for preventing blockages and maintaining circulation. So, where can you find this blood flow superhero? Look for foods rich in vitamin E, such as nuts, especially almonds and sunflower seeds vegetable oils, like sunflower and safflower oil, spinach, and broccoli. As for daily intake guidelines, the recommended daily intake of vitamin E varies depending on age, sex, and individual health factors, but a general guideline for adults is around 15 mg per day. 
By making vitamin E a part of your daily intake, you're helping to protect your blood vessels, ensuring they stay in tip-top shape. This can lead to improved circulation in your legs and feet, reducing the risk of complications and enhancing overall comfort. Next, vitamin K. Next up, let's talk about vitamin K, the unsung hero in preventing blood clots. While blood clotting is crucial to stop bleeding when you get a cut, you don't want unnecessary clotting in your blood vessels, which can impede circulation. Vitamin K plays a vital role in controlling blood clotting by facilitating the production of clotting proteins and preventing excessive clot formation. In essence, it keeps your blood flowing freely where it should be. You can find vitamin K in leafy green vegetables like kale, spinach, and Swiss chard, as well as in broccoli and Brussels sprouts. These foods give your body the vitamin K needed to maintain a healthy balance between clotting and circulation. When it comes to daily intake, adults should aim for around 90 to 120 micrograms of vitamin K daily. Keep your diet rich in vitamin K sources to ensure your blood flows smoothly without unwanted clots. Next, vitamin B3. Our fifth superhero on this circulation-boosting journey is niacin, also known as vitamin B3. Niacin is like the key that unlocks vasodilation, the process of widening blood vessels, allowing for better blood flow. Niacin helps relax and expand blood vessels, reducing resistance to blood flow. This dilation improves circulation and can alleviate conditions like cold feet and cramps. You can find niacin in foods like poultry, fish, especially tuna and salmon, nuts, and whole grains. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help you get the niacin you need to support vasodilation. For daily intake, adults typically require around 14 to 16 milligrams of niacin daily. However, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to determine your specific needs, especially if you're considering niacin supplements, as high doses can have side effects. Next, vitamin B6. Now, let's explore the role of vitamin B6 in supporting your nerve function, which is crucial for maintaining healthy legs and feet. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, acts as a superhero when it comes to nerve health. This vitamin is essential for the synthesis of neurotransmitters, which are the messengers that transmit signals between your nerves and muscles. When your nerves are functioning optimally, your muscles respond effectively, aiding circulation and mobility. Foods high in vitamin B6 include poultry, fish, like tuna and salmon, bananas, potatoes, and chickpeas. Incorporating these foods into your diet ensures you're getting enough of this essential vitamin. For daily intake, adults generally need around 1.3 to 2 mg of vitamin B6. However, it's always wise to consult with a healthcare professional to determine your specific needs, especially if you have dietary restrictions or medical conditions. Next, vitamin B12. Our final vitamin superhero on this journey is vitamin B12, a vital player in red blood cell production. Red blood cells are the oxygen carriers of your body, and without enough of them, your circulation can suffer. Vitamin B12 is crucial for the synthesis of hemoglobin, the protein that transports oxygen in your blood. Without adequate B12, your red blood cell production falters, leading to fatigue, weakness, and decreased circulation to your legs and feet. You can find vitamin B12 primarily in animal-derived foods such as meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. For those following a vegetarian or vegan diet, fortified cereals, and nutritional yeast can be good sources of B12. As for daily intake, most adults should aim for approximately 2.4 micrograms of vitamin B12. Ensuring you meet your B12 needs is essential for overall health, including your leg and foot circulation. Dear viewers, while vitamins are incredibly beneficial, it's crucial to remember that individual needs can vary. What works for one person may not be suitable for another. Before making any significant changes to your diet or considering vitamin supplements, please consult with your healthcare provider. They can assess your specific needs, considering your medical history and any potential interactions with other medications you may be taking. Your doctor's guidance ensures your health and safety on this journey to better circulation. Now, let's not forget that improving circulation isn't just about vitamins. 
It's a holistic approach to wellness. Alongside your dietary choices, there are several lifestyle changes that can make a world of difference in enhancing your leg and foot circulation. First and foremost, incorporate regular exercise into your routine. Physical activity gets your heart pumping, promoting efficient blood flow throughout your body. It doesn't have to be intense, even a daily walk can work wonders for your circulation. Second, if you're a smoker, consider quitting. Smoking constricts blood vessels and can seriously hinder circulation. Kicking the habit is one of the most significant steps you can take toward healthier legs and feet. And last but not least, maintaining a healthy weight is essential. Excess weight can put extra pressure on your blood vessels, making it harder for blood to flow freely. A balanced diet, portion control, and regular exercise can help you achieve and maintain a healthy weight. So, while vitamins are essential tools in your circulation-boosting toolbox, remember that these lifestyle changes can work in synergy with your dietary choices. Together, they form a comprehensive strategy for healthier legs and feet. As we wrap up, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more valuable insights into health and wellness. Until then, take care, stay active, and prioritize your well-being. We'll see you in the next video.